Hello, Tab Nation. It's Tom, and today we're going to be talking about ChatGPT. Uh, so right here we got this website. It's called GodMode.Space. Uh, this is amazing. Uh, if you watched my other videos, uh, I've played around with ChatGPT. Uh, but this is called God Mode, basically. Uh, so just a quick history. Uh, you know, ChatGPT3 came out, then ChatGP4 came out. Uh, 3.5 in the middle there. And what happened is someone basically kind of wanted to up its level, uh, basically make it so that it could create its own task, do its own research, all that kind of stuff. So someone developed a application that you actually have to download onto your computer, and this just kind of shows how fast this stuff evolves. It's, it's cool and scary at the same time. Let me know your thoughts on if you're okay with it going this fast or not. It's kind of up in the air with everybody. So we'll see if the apocalypse is coming and uh, yeah, Terminator comes real. But yeah, uh, basically, within a few days of that person releasing that, a online version came out, and then within like I think it was like another week or someone, someone came up with this, and it just it's crazy how fast it's improving, uh, just from it being open source uh, with a lot of this stuff and people being able to just easily access GPT as a you know a building structure. But yeah, we're gonna come here. Uh, Link is in the description below, but it's just godmode.space, and space is actually spelled out. It's not an actual space on your keyboard. Uh, but as you see here, it, you know, kind of looks very much like, you know, ChatGPT in a way. Uh, you know, we got some settings here. You can sign in with uh, Google, GitHub, and Twitter. I'm sure more stuff. You can use um, your API key goes here. You can choose which version. Uh, which I guess you would have to do that in order to change your version. Um, so there's that very basic. Uh, you got you know contact here for the people if you want to give them feedback. There's Discord, uh, their Twitter I guess here uh, about if you want to learn a little bit you know whatever. But yeah, so it works a lot. You know you got your new session here. It looks very much similar. But what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and say let's say we want to build a website uh, specifically about memes. Uh, create a website where people can share memes. Very simple. Not getting very complex. Pretty simple. We're going to go ahead and we're going to launch this. Uh, it is going to say because we are not logged in, so we are going to go ahead and log in real quick. Alrighty. There we go. Oh, I didn't even notice it said that. All right, so here we go. Um, so yeah, basically what it's doing is it's giving itself task, and I have to approve them. So here are the three suggestions that came with: uh, design a user-friendly interface interface for the website. Obviously, uh, you know I haven't done anything, so I definitely need that. Uh, suggestion: develop a secure user registration and login. Yeah, let's do that because that way people can view what they've uploaded, they can save, uh, you know, and then maybe you want to follow someone who uploads good memes. So yeah, let's add that. Uh, implement a feature for users to upload and share memes on your website. Well, obviously, I'm not going to sit here uploading hundreds myself every day. I got somewhat of a life out there, so it'd be nice to have other people kind of contribute. So yeah, I like that idea. Looks good to me. Let's go ahead and launch. Obviously, you can get more specific. I've obviously very basic sentence there on what I want it. Uh, but yeah, now it's going to say, you know, the AI is starting. Sit back and relax. Um, and de just depending on how many tasks you assigned it and uh, exactly what it needs to do. Uh, and then it's just funny little things. It, it can take, you know, that wasn't too bad. That was maybe 10 seconds, 15 seconds. Um, so it really depends, but it's still pretty quick. Uh, so it gives me its thoughts. Um, so a result, agent start it. Determine the next command. I need to review the goals of this task. The goals are design, uh, user uh, interface of the website. And it's basically just kind of telling me what it already, I already told it to do. Reasoning, blah, blah, blah. Proposed action. So here's what it's great about this. Instead of like with ChatGPT where I can say like, hey, 
I want this. It's really just going to spit out a bunch of information. And it's just going to keep going until I push the stop button. Here, it's going to actually let you go step by step approving each action. Uh, and down here is great. You can give it feedback. So let's see what it wants to do. So it's basically uh, looking at designing it. Design a user-friendly interface for the website. That's the task, which I approved. Uh, prompt, please generate a design for a user-friendly interface for a website where people can share memes. The design should be visually appealing, easy to navigate, consider the use of colors, layout, uh, and whatnot. Sounds good to me. Uh, feedback, you can always say, for example, design this. Uh, my website's going to be hosted on, you know, Google's AVS or, you know, whatever service you're going to be using or... I want my entire website to be dark mode. <laughs> um, so you can give it some feedback if you want to kind of narrow down specifically what you're looking for and the decisions you've already made. Uh, you can, you know, give the feedback. But this sounds good to me. I kind of just want to see what it comes out on its own. So I'm going to say approve this plan. Bunch of numbers, you know, doing a bunch of stuff. Uh, so why it's doing that real quick up here you can see the tasks uh, that are laid out uh, very easily uh, it shows you where it's currently at with a basic description uh, files no files yet we'll check on that in a little bit uh, that's another great feature about this that i absolutely love synthesizing the meaning in life i like this <laughs> decoding the matrix just wait till it says uh, uploading skynet then we're in trouble Oh, right. Oh, no. So, uh, the server had an error while processing your kind of Sorry about that. Okay, so obviously we're having some uh, issues here and there. Um, we're going to go ahead and exit that, give it another try. Hopefully it works that time. It is very new, so, you know, and probably the traffic's pretty heavy right now just because of so many people out there using this and uh, testing it out. And, of course, I'm uploading a video, which is probably not going to help the traffic. <laughs> there we go. All right, just did something. Let's let it finish. So once again, it's going to say the uh, thoughts and everything. Um, right now, it's saying, please provide the generated design for your uh, in the menu sharing website. OK, the message agent command will allow me to retrieve the design. All right, let's go ahead and say approve this plan. So it's still in the first step, design the interface. Uh, but this is basically, it's not asking me this question, please provide. It's what it's asking, you know, the internet. Chat GPT. So, yeah. This is basically what it's asking. It's basically building the prompt for us. Uh, we only had to do the initial prompt and then just whatever feedback we want. This is now the prompt that it thinks it's best to ask. Uh, so that's even cool, too. Rebooting the universe. I love these little uh, things here. And why it's doing that, if you haven't subscribed, throwing automation videos out to you guys two, three times every week. And if you guys like these videos, want me to expand on this or have questions, hit the like button, comment below. Let me know what you guys want to see in this kind of field of automation. And there we go. Perfect timing. So, yeah. Now I did a bunch of stuff. Uh, once again, you can read through its thoughts, its reasoning for this next step. Um, you know, right here, it gave me a bunch of stuff. Color scheme, choose a variety. Um, so it's basically saying, you know, exactly what we need to do. It's instructing us on you know, how to build this website and what it can find for us. I'm trying to get one that's going to show me a file. Oh, okay. So there we go. Design a user-friendly in, uh, interface. Uh, so now we're on step two, develop a secure user uh, login system. And like I said, it's just giving us general guidelines like it's telling us here. This is great. You can copy and paste this, save it into a text file if you want. Uh, if it does spit out files, uh, usually they're text files. You can go here, you can download it, or just click on, uh, you know, whatever, view results. Boom. View results. Boom. So this is like just a great, it'd be great for, you know, business planning, making sure you don't miss any important steps you didn't think about. Uh, but yeah, pretty much that sums it up. Uh, you know, like I said, it just takes about 20, 30 seconds for each step. Not bad. You get to approve each step. Make sure you give it feedback if you don't exactly like 
uh, that or if you made a decision on your own. Here's this output for this. Uh, so yeah, let's take a look at this one actually because this one's pretty good. Um, obviously this one you had to scroll, so I kind of honestly like this one because it's just easier to focus on. Uh, but yeah, I mean, look at this. I mean, user registration, step one, collect necessary user information, such as user email, password, use uh, SSL, TLS encryption to secure the data. So, I mean, it's really hash the user's password. I mean, it really breaks this down on, you know, tell me what exactly I should be looking for and all that. All right, everybody, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you on the next one. Obviously, I'm not going to complete all these steps because... The whole point is for a short video introduction. See you guys.